Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to automate RPA stock market. RPA stock market is a part of RPA challenge website. If you will come to this rpachallenge.com, you can see there is option RPA stock market. Once you will click on that, it will redirect to this screen. Here the automation part is, we have list of company name. We have three company names. You have to select one by one. You have to click on this search and you can see this is the pre-market value and after three seconds, after each three seconds, it updates that value. You can see 735.47, after three seconds 50, we have a different. After three seconds again, we have different. So after each three seconds, this will update that market value the pre-market value. We are going to capture only two values. We'll have these three company name updated in our Excel file and we'll take one by one and then we'll click on this one search and then we'll capture this. After three seconds, we'll capture the another this value, right? Same way we'll do for all these three companies and then we'll enter this data to our Excel file. This is the automation that we are going to do. Okay. so. We have this excel file, first we have to maintain this excel file. So we will take these company names. So let me first click on this. This is Xenon UI Pharma. Let me copy this name and put here company name. This is company name. Paste here. Let me click on format. Okay. Now go to second. Click on that. This is VEX. Academy INC paste here click on that select the third one Exxon RPA Corp this paste here okay so we have three companies and then we are going to take here value 1 and then value 2 okay so after 3 seconds we will capture one by one and then we will enter here for each company two value will update here okay now save this one close this come to this ui pass studio and then first we have to read this excel file okay so to read this excel file we have this read range so i'm going to use this read range workbook activity this one and for your information i am using this vb windows okay vb language i'm going to use to automate this one click on this folder go to download select that excel file a stock market click open enter the seat name that is seat 1 and go to output data table press ctrl k and put here dt underscore stock market data enter okay so the data table has been created now now after reading this data we need to loop through each data right each company name but before that let me first open this website okay so we'll take here open browser now we need to enter the url here so just launch this website copy this paste this inside double quotes okay now right side in the properties select the browser type to edge because i am going to use edge browser Okay, after opening this one, I'm going to use here for each row in data table. Here I'm going to pass this DT underscore stock market data, and then this is the current row that item. You can put here current company like that, a current row is okay. Now after opening this one, we'll go one by one and then we'll take here one select item. Why we are going to use select item? Select item is used to select the company, select the data from this drop down. Okay. So now click on this indicate element inside browser. Click on that. Just move this, this side and just indicate here. Click on that okay now you can see here we have list of company names available here just replace this data with current 
this row, copy this and replace this with company name dot to string. Okay, so we just now change that current company of company name dot to string. Right side you can see this is the selector wave control id equal to country tag equal to select. Okay, and just click on this and select wait for id complete. Okay, now after selecting that we need to click on that search button. So we'll take a click activity and then click on this indicate here and click on this search button okay and uh, just click on this simulate click and select the wait for ad complete okay now it will click on this search button after click on search button this value will be generated so we need to take here get text activity get text activity is used to get the value get this text get this value okay now click on that now while highlighting you need to take care so if you are going to highlight this one this complete you will have some formatting issue so what you can do you can just highlight this span not complete h2 or division part right so once you click on that you will see as a span right and also in the selector you will get as a wave control wave control id equal to c and t and tag equal to a span okay so there are two things here this is considered as a s2 if you we'll click on that let me show you here so we'll get a, get here as a wave control tag equal to h2 so we are not going to use that complete because it has some spaces there just click on that okay as a span now click on this complete now press control k and store this in a variables this is just str underscore market value something like that market value copy this okay now after this we need to write this data to that data table so that at the end we can update this data to the excel file so i am going to take here one assign activity and then i will paste that value here and then this time th this value i am going to assign to current company of value 1 so this time i am going to assign this value to value 1 now we have to wait for 3 seconds so what i am going to do i am going to put a delay here click on snippets take a delay of 3 seconds just take this outside from the sequence this sequence is not required here so just delete this sequence now after this we will do same thing get a span and this will copy and paste here ok we will have the same element and same variable only we are going to change here so this time we will assign this value to value to another column ok now after this once it will take the data and assign to this at the end so let us say now it is going to assign everything at the end here we will take here write range workbook ok and click on that select that excel file stock market put here seat 1 data table is dt stock market data select here add headers so by using this assign activity all this data will be updated the data table will be updated now at the end we are going to write there now before writing this or after writing what we can do we can take a close window or close application which can close this browser click on that and click on this br browser now it will close this browser which has the title rpa stock market okay 
save this, close this one. Now click on this select run. Now it is going to launch this URL RPA challenge RPA stock market and then it will select first company name X, Xen on UI Pharma and then you can see here data has been updated. Now the second company Vex Academy after 3 seconds it will take capture other one now okay now it is done and it has closed that and also you can see let's open this one and you can see here. For this company, we had 77.55 in value 1. After 3 seconds, the value has been decreased to 76.9. For this company, it was 47, but after 3 seconds, the data has been decreased. For this one, we had we had 81, and after 3 seconds, it decreased to 80.55. So, by this way, you can automate this RPA stock market. I hope this video is very helpful for you. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Blue Prism RPA. And also, if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy and you want to get certificate, you can search for my Blue Prism course th there. That is Blue Prism RPA complete course. I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.